Well, let's say um, I think the challenge of balancing short and long-term factors is a, is a very real one, um, sometimes a bit overstated. I mean, there are people who use the rationalization, we're focused on long-term success to excuse short-term failure. And uh, some economists would say that long-term performance is really uh, gluing together the overnight short-term performance for years and years, but um, that it's not uh, completely distinct from short-term performance. And the reality is both are critical. So if you have a situation where a board is considering a step might be levering up the company to pay a special dividend or something that might uh, result in a short-term uh, pop for a stock, but might put the company's balance sheet in a considerably weaker condition, depending on the industry, the state of the company, the state of the world economy. That might or might not prove to be a good idea over a two or three year horizon. So sometimes you can identify a conflict between the things that could be done in very short term and things that might be best in the long term. Hopefully most of the times, if you fix the short term, then you have a lot more time to fix the long term. And I've always seen them as complementary, um, that get things right as quickly as we can. So this company is moving forward and adding value rather than um, treading water or, or being a drowning person in the water.